Cycling, is it a racist sport? I would say that it is racist, yeah. While far from being the first to raise questions over racism in cycling, athlete turned academic Marlon Moncrief is the first to catalogue the rarely heralded successes of black cyclists in the form of the coffee table book, Desire, Discrimination, Determination, Black Champions in Cycling, which went on to become Rafa Editions' fastest selling book ever. In my research, what I've tried to do is show the sport through um, a different lens, okay, um, a, a black lens, a black imagination. I brought the history of the sport through the lenses of Major Taylor, Jermaine Ibron, Kitty Knox, all, all the way up to current voices and perspectives such as Justin Williams, even before that, Morris Burton, Russell Williams. And if we can take those viewpoints, those knowledge bases, and blend them with the dominant knowledge basis to get that diversity of thought, that diversity of imagination, and implement that in, into the sport, then I think we can advance the sport further. The obscurity of these riders hints strongly at the continued lack of black representation in the sport as a whole. While a handful of talented African riders such as Daniel Tekla Hymanot and Biniam Girmay have shone on the world stage, they remain very much in the minority. There is some opportunities there for um, black riders from the African continent to race on a world tour. From a, from a European perspective, from in the UK, Great Britain, from the USA, none. We haven't really seen any um, being able to progress to that level, really, which is, which is an interesting um, situation. Gold for Great Britain! Jess Ennis is Olympic champion! I do contrast the success of Great Britain athletics over the years in, in, in comparison to cycling, where we've had quite, you know, there's been quite a lot of representation in, in athletics over the years at the Olympics, the World Championships of black British people, whilst in cycling we haven't seen anybody. My research has found with cycling where black cyclists have aimed to reach to the highest points in the sport. Their careers have been stymied. So in their engagements with national bodies, British cycling, um, yeah, there's been the odd opportunity here and there, but that hasn't been taken forward any further. There was something that came up on Twitter that said that cycling must remain traditional to its roots of European countries, you know, and all other countries that, 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 that are making suggestions for change should not make any suggestions we want to maintain our tr traditional roots. Well, that particular perspective, I'm sure, is ingrained into um, cycling, especially from the, from, from the European angle. The lack of black involvement in professional cycling has translated into a lack of visible support for the Black Lives Matter movement, in stark contrast to other sports. Though one young rider did choose to take a stand, or rather, a knee. I personally think that the gesture, there was some, there was some, there was some genuine in that gesture, but there was a lot of naivety in it as well. And he made, he made, the, he made the suggestion about um, bringing a black cyclist into the sport to aim to increase diversity. Well, what's happened with that? Nothing. If cycling really wants to engage with different cultures, if they want to promote the Tour de France in Africa, they want to promote the Tour de France in the Caribbean, then it needs to engage with those cultures as well to see what those cultures can bring to the sport, not dismiss them. But that kind of engagement appears to be on the horizon in the shape of the 2025 UCI Road World Championships in Rwanda, the first time the rainbow bands will have been awarded on the African continent. On the surface level, it must be a good thing, you know. What concerns me a little bit is that, will that event be crowning white champions in a black country? How would that look? Hopefully not, hopefully there'll be a mixture of champions. But um, yeah, so that's, that's one concern for me there. For that mix to occur, the ethnic makeup of the pro peloton needs to undergo massive change, though that might only require the opening of a single checkbook. Imagine if a multi-millionaire, billionaire decided, well, wait a minute, I'm going to change the narrative of cycling, okay, it's very white, I'm going to invest a billion pounds, yeah, into African cycling, okay, and I'm, I'm going to bring the best team from Eastern Africa to the Tour de France, then, you know, you could, in effect, have a black African cycling team because of that investment doing just as, just as well as Team Ineos. So, it's not just about the national body, it's not just about the UCI, it's about who's willing to change the narrative. So it can be done if someone wants to invest in it.